the path to peace starts with not being very peaceful. So <laughs> it's really hard to imagine that when you're first starting. Um, you can't really, when you're in so much turmoil and there's so much chaos, you know, the whole idea of ever being able to have peace around this just feels like it's never going to happen. So really it just starts with like baby steps like just doing one thing at a time and really just trusting you know making sure that whoever you're working with you trust them and that you trust the program that you're doing and you know I believe that it is so much harder to do intuitive eating than it is to go on a diet because going on a diet is just that instant gratification and it's really hard because when you have to truly practice intuitive eating, you have to not only not diet, which is just right where your brain goes. Um, there's still times my brain goes there first, but I just, you know, quickly pull it back. But it's also, you have to address all of the issues around your feelings and your body and whatever's going on with you. Because not dieting is so much harder than dieting and you go into this you would think the complete opposite but you are battling every single minute to not diet when you first start doing intuitive eating and that really was very difficult um, for me and even now like I say I have that momentary snap where I go oh oh yeah I don't do that <laughs> that's bad that's wrong but it's so ingrained and such a part of what your, your legacy is and your lineage and society that it's still something that will pop up even with someone that doesn't even feel it's real.